Okay, gang, so here's where things start to get a little interesting because um, the pamphlet kind of ends uh, right there. So I'm not exactly sure what to do on this next step. So uh, what we're going to do is we have our other 2040 piece, and this is actually going to be our x-axis and z that moves up and down like this. We have the piece that we built in step, let's see, in step two. So our left side, and then in step three, our z-axis right side. Okay, so we're gonna take this piece and holding this up like so, okay? So it's like this. This is gonna to attach to the back and onto these T-nuts. So it's easiest to just kind of line them up so they're straight and then just kind of plop this on there like so. All right, now you're gonna wanna try to get this as straight as possible. Um, and then again, watching out for those pulleys. So let's just put this on here. And we'll try to get it at least a little bit tightened down. And then we'll back all these screws up um, to make some adjustments. So let's go like half turn, half turn, half turn, half turn. Just so we got a little bit of play in there, but we also don't want it to fall off. Okay, actually let's just tighten one up to keep it from actually falling off. Okay, we're going to do something similar to uh, the right side. So. We're going to take our, like so, okay, and again, these T-nuts are all going to just kind of plop into the side here, kind of like so. Okay, again, you don't want the pulleys to hit, and we're just going to kind of loosely Tighten this guy up as well. Okay, uh, before we go too far, <laughs> we want to make sure this is flipped around. So we have the front is without the motor, and the motor is in the back. Okay, and these guys are not needed, so let's get them out of the way. Okay, motor back. Front, uh, we've got this guy on there loosely, okay. And what we're going to do is basically take this guy and we're going to slide him right onto this rail. Cam, okay. Feels pretty good, yeah. So that feels pretty good. And if the wheels on without the eccentric nut, so the inside ones are all rolling and are all touching. Uh, let's go ahead and tighten up our screws to our back piece. Okay. Again, make sure these guys are all rolling. Same thing with here. Um, one thing you can do is uh, grab. Um, I happen to have a silver Sharpie. Um, I like to just mark the wheels. That way I can see if they're spinning or not. Okay, and we can see all of our inside wheels are spinning. All right, so we'll tighten this side down. Okay. Boom, boom goes the dynamite. So that is our carriage there. Yee-hoo! Um, and we'll grab our 
X mount. Now this one uh, we could have put on first. Um, actually, probably should have put this on before we put all these guys on. Uh, but one thing you can do, since you have these handy eccentric nuts, is if I find the right size wrench I need, is we can actually loosen these up so this guy can actually just plop right on here. Because if these guys, if these things are loose enough, then uh, then yeah, he'll uh, he'll slide right on. And actually, uh, we'll loosen these guys up too. Just loosen everything up. I don't like having the hot end and everything on there when you're trying to fight this other piece. So, all right. So then with our ones with the washers, remember we just want to tighten those guys up um, as much as we can. You need six hands. All right. One more. Make sure this side's tight. Okay. Now, using your wrench that came with the kit, I have a different size one. We can take our eccentric nuts. Um, let's let's, see, let's go ahead and tighten these bolts down first. Forgot I loosened those. Sorry, I'm probably blocking the camera with a lot of my movements. I'm just tightening down the bolts on these wheels real quick, the top and bottom ones that I loosened out to get this on. And what I was saying is I don't like to fiddle with this while the hot end's on there because uh, I just don't want to hurt that guy. So, But now that uh, you got those front two tight, you can go ahead and use this and adjust your eccentrics until the back wheels are just barely squeezing in there and touching. There we go. It's a little hot. Because what these eccentric nuts do is they actually move uh, the bearing. So you can see that is pretty, pretty good. There's no wobble in any direction, and it spins super smooth. Okay. All right. That was a fun time.